How's it going, everybody? Uh, this is Tiz Gaming. Uh, so I wanted to make a video real quick. Um, some of you have not seen these patch notes. Um, however, these patch notes are blowing up on Twitter and pretty much everywhere. Um, all the big streamers are pretty pissed about it. Um, so I just wanted to make a little video and show you guys that haven't seen the patch notes, give you all a little glimpse into what's in the patch notes before the update actually comes out and talk about some issues with this patch notes I want to get everybody's opinion on it so let me know what y'all think um, I personally do not care for these patch notes <clears throat> so first of all we have the floors lava the LTM um, a lot of people have seen this LTM it's not a bad idea seems pretty cool you know, the, the lava is eventually, there's some more details in the bottom, I'll get to those in a second. Uh, we have the poison, poison dart trap. Um, there should be more details for that below. And then new forged items. Uh, so there's going to be bananas, there's going to be peppers, there's going to be coconuts. These are all consumables that you'll find on the ground. So for the LTM, the floor is lava. Lava gradually rises from the lowest parts of the map and it's hot. Drop in quickly, loot and gather materials so you can be the first first to reach the high ground. So basically, a few minutes into the match, the lava will begin to rise. The lava moves at a steady speed until the entire map is covered. Touching the lava will apply damage directly to your health and bounce you up into the air. You can build on the lava. Players will be given a small number of materials every second to help out in those entire map is on fire situations. So this seems like a cool concept. A lot of people... <laughs> you have to make sure you have plenty of mats. It says that you're going to be given a small number of materials however if you're just sitting in place then you're going to run through those small number of materials so you're going to have to make sure you gather plenty of them. It should be interesting. I can't imagine any huge build fights because <laughs> if you run out of materials then you're stuck running on the lava and you're, you're going to die. Weapons and items. The ball no longer applies damage to player on the collision. I don't really mind that. I never I personally never really damage a lot of people with a baller. I use it more to hide from people or to get to that in-game circle if I'm going for wins. Uh, future baller iterations. We've noticed a lot of discussion around the baller, so here's an update. We're not satisfied with the current use of ballers, specifically in the late game, with the 8.30 update. So it's not this update. This will be the next big update. We are going to release a change that will allow players to shoot through the glass of the baller. Non-glass parts still have collision and block damage from bullets. So if they shoot you, you know, on the grappler or something like that you're good however as of 8.3 they will be able to shoot you through the baller so we'll, it will strictly only be for movement it will not be for protection now here's the big change that everyone is talking about siphon slash material changes in 7.40 we implemented a few pop-up code settings of the test and core modes after monitoring a combination of gameplay data and feedback, we've gathered necessary info to conclude this initial test. We feel it has resulted in an unhealthy level of aggressive play, diminishing other viable strategies. The following changes have been reverted in all core modes. So this is talking about when you kill somebody, you get 50 shield, you get 50 health. You know, if you're at 75 health, you get 25 health, 25 shield. In my opinion, one of the best changes they've ever, ever made to the game, in my opinion. I actually quit playing Fortnite for a little while. Uh, I began playing Apex Legends, and when they removed the planes, because I hated the planes, and when they added this in, I came back, and I have loved the game ever since. Everybody seems to love this. So I'm kind of confused, and I honestly thought the pop-up cup was for testing, so I don't know why they were testing it in core modes. I'm hoping this is an April Fool's joke, as a lot of people are saying, even though it is not April 1st. But here's what they reverted. 50 health or shield based on your health when the elimination occurs. You will no longer be healed. 50-50-50 materials dropped on elimination. You will no longer get mats. 500-500 cap on materials. You'll now be able to have a thousand mats again of each one. Harvest rate increased by 40%, so you now will get mats slower. That said, these mechanics have proven to be positive in our competitive playlist. All changes above remain enabled in the new arena game mode. So they're adding the new game mode that's supposed to be like ranked gameplay, where you can like get up higher in the arena and play with people that are on that same tier. So they're removing this. 
And so far there's a lot of controversy because it's honestly one of the best changes they've ever made. Um, so I believe after this update, games are going to be played out by, you know, sitting in a box. Sitting in a box, you're going to be able to have a ton more mats again. So you can pretty much turbo build to your heart's content and just sit in a turtle. And the big thing about this was you you had an incentive to kill people. You know, if you were a good player, then you had a reason to rush people because you were going to get rewarded for it. You were rewarded for being a good player. The only argument, you know, that I've heard about this is thirsting. And I know some people think it's really annoying to just get thirsted and thirsted and thirsted when you're playing duos and squads. But after, you know, this has been around for a minute now, and it's kind of a habit to thirst people a lot of the times. And I honestly don't think it's really going to change that. You know, people are already used to just thirsting. And people did it before this update. And I believe they're going to continue to do it after the update. So I don't see how this can be a positive change, but we'll see what happens with it. Uh, next we have the infantry rifle. Everyone hates the infantry rifle. They're like, why did y'all bring in the infantry rifle? The infantry rifle's garbage. It doesn't do anything. Uh, so now it's hit scan. So it's like an AR. Um, the weapon no longer follows projectiles, uh, snipers. Base damage was, re was reduced, and it used the same damage fall off profiles as existing sniper rifles. So what this means for that is basically like when you shoot a sniper if they're a certain distance away you have to shoot a little bit above and you will no longer have to do that it's going to be a straight shot no matter where they're at um, but the damage will be reduced depending on where you hit them from not a big change you know nobody really cares about the infantry rifle I don't think it'll affect it that much it'll just give the infantry rifle a little bit more use when you land on one because you can it's, it's basically an AR now with less ammo poison dart trap this is an interesting and pretty cool change. Um, I have a few questions about a few of the things. Available in uncommon rarity, so it'll be a green item. Can be placed on walls, floors, and ceilings, just like a regular trap. It's found from floor loot. Can be triggered up to three grid cells away. So that's the weird part. It fires poison dart projectiles at a distance of three horizontal grid cells. Four vertical grid cells. So basically, you know, it can be four levels above you and hit you or three squares to your left or right or in front of you or behind you and hit you and normally you know you can peek for a trap and this will make it pretty hard to look up four squares around the floor you're already under to see this thing so it's going to be pretty maybe broken it does 10 health damage per tick so I think it'll be pretty broken um, it does so it does eight total ticks over seven seconds for a total damage of 80. So I don't know if this it's poison, so I don't know if it sticks with you or if it's only while you're in the trap. But if it sticks with you, that means every time... I mean, this trap's going to hit you for 80 damage. And subsequent hits will refresh the duration of the effect, but the amount of damage per tick does not change. So it's just like... It's going to be a lot harder to see where the trap's at. It's going to be a lot harder to see, you know to be able to tell you're about to get hit by the trap and once you get hit by it I mean you're taking 80 damage there's nothing you can do about it uh, so that's the new trap new forged items so that we have bananas instant guns 5 health when consumed can be found in the tropical biome from what I understand I read something else and I don't believe it's exactly like the banana oh okay just kidding I was reading about something okay so yeah bananas are pretty much apples but you find them in the tropical area. Uh, then we have coconuts forged by damaging palm trees. So you have to farm palm trees to get these. When consumed, coconuts grant five points of effective health over a short time. That means it will replenish, re, will replenish shields if the player is at max health. So if you're at max health, you know, if you're at 100, it gives you five shields. You know, if you're at 90, it gives you five health. If you're at 97, it gives you three health, two shields. You know, self explanatory. Peppers. These are an interesting item. When consumed, pe peppers instantly grant 5 health and also increase the player's movement speed by 20% for 10 seconds. Can be found in the desert biome. So it heals you and you start to run really fast? I guess? 
seems interesting enough, can be found in the desert biome. My one question regarding this is because you have this second effect of increased player's movement speed by 20% for 10 seconds. So apples, and I'm assuming bananas, and I'm assuming coconuts, you can't eat if you're at full health. So with peppers, are you going to be able to eat them regardless of your health to get the movement speed? Or is it only going to be an advantage given to people that are hurt? Because I can be at 195 health, take this, and I'm at 200 and I have movement speed, and it's kind of broken, um, depending on how it's used and how it's utilized, how common they are. There's a lot of factors that go into it. Uh, the buried treasure directional indicator is now attached to the player and <clears throat> emanates from the area of the treasure map in order to improve visibility, especially while moving. That's good, because every time I get a treasure map, half the time I see the line, and I'm like, where the heck is this thing even pointing? Where the heck is the gold light even at, you know? So it'll kind of help. The indicator will continue to pulse every three seconds while the item is equipped. That's another positive change for this, because as it stands now, and correct me if I'm wrong, but you pull out your treasure map, you get the red dotted line, and then after a few seconds it goes away. So you have to switch weapons, pull out the treasure map again. So that should be good. Power cannon adjustments. I, I don't really have a, much of an opinion on these. Adjusted the collision of the pirate cannon to ensure the driver's seat is always enterable without needing to nudge the cannon. So it's more like a fix. Move the seat prompt locations for easier entry into the cannon. I don't have any issues getting in cannons. You know, no matter where I'm at, I can either be at the front and enter it, or be in the back and enter it. Increase the radius of cannonball and player land explosions from 200 units to 250 units, so you won't be able to go as far. Reduce cannon impulse slash knockback when firing a cannonball while driving or when launching a player. This is unchanged when coasting. Uh, I don't actually know what that means, like the coasting part, um, but basically when you shoot it, it's not going to shoot you back as far. Like it's not the cannon is not going to go back as far. So like you know if you're in like a duo and you shoot the cannon and then your players like your friends like oh crap I need the cannon too the storm's coming, you know the cannon won't be four squares behind you. Adjusted the equip time of the epic slash legendary pump shotgun to match the uncommon slash rare versions. I actually haven't noticed a huge difference, so I don't know if it's making it. I'm assuming it's making it quicker. Um, if it's making it quicker, that's cool. If it's making it longer, you know, fuck that. Bug fix issue, issue ah, bug fixes fix an issue where clingers were damaging players through walls when stuck to another player. I have not witnessed this. Seems like it'd be annoying. Seems like I could just stick my teammate and then him run up to there one by one and it damaged him through it. Fix the issue preventing glider item pickups from displaying their stat count. Again, haven't had this issue. Smooth out the motion of grenade projectile trajectories which were lagging behind a tick. Again, I don't. I don't know what they're talking about there. Balloon fixes. Honestly, they just need to vault balloons. Let me just put that out there. Fuck balloons. Entering a vehicle no longer plays the release sound of balloons if you have no balloons. Again, haven't had that issue. The balloon rope will no longer remain on your back when you run out of balloons. Never had that issue. I don't even like using balloons. Pirate cannon fixes. Fix an issue where players fl are flying out of a pirate cannon in a different direction than expected. I have seen this issue. I've had this issue... Um, that is a good fix. Fix an issue preventing the ability to enter a pirate cannon when close to other geometry. I haven't had any issues entering pirate cannons. Fix the ability for players to finely tune pirate cannon's ability to aim side to side. Um, that's a good fix because sometimes when you're in a cannon and you're trying to move left and right, super slow. Fix an issue causing buried treasure to spawn loot on the starting island. Again, never seen this issue, but hey. Alright, gameplay. Marker pings are now allowed while D, B, N, O. If somebody in the comments wants to explain what D, B, and O means, let me know. Because I have no idea. Added a unique elimination message when eliminated by a lava surface. You know, basically just in the kill feed it says, you know, burned to death by lava or something. Increased relevan uh, relevancy distance for players being able to see explosive explosions. Um, so explosives will render in from farther. That's not all. Increased infinite dab from 13 hours to 14 hours in the lobby. I don't think anyone cares about that. That's a, basically a meme at this point. Fix an issue where the icy feet effect remaining on indefinitely while emoting. Again, haven't had this issue. Traps now do damage directly to the Voller vehicle instead of dealing damage to the driver. 
Okay, so so in the earlier mentions, they're going to make it where you can shoot through the ball. But with this update, traps damage the ball and not you. Interesting. It's a rare occurrence of a player being invulnerable while D, B, and O. Again, I don't know what this means. Somebody feel free to explain it to me. Fix the camera sometimes traveling too far when cycling to another player. Uh, that's talking about when you're spectating. Um, who cares? Don't die. Uh, events. New feature. Arena game mode solos and duos. Complete any time and gain hype. Advance to higher leagues and unlock exclusive tournaments such as the Fortnite World Cup Online Open. Each league is broken up into several divisions with players working their way from Open League to Contender League to Champion League. Scoring will update from division to division with an increasing amount of bus fare loss with each match at higher divisions. So it's going to be just like the gauntlet except it's putting in you division by divisions. Um, that's how they're working out who you're matched up with instead of you know, you have the same amount of points as these 99 people, or close. Matchmaking in Arena is based on players with similar hype. As a result, hype is basically points. You just gain points. As a result, players in higher divisions may experience longer than normal wait times before a match is found. New tournament, Lux Cup. This will be the 30th and the 31st, 100,000 in cash prizes. It's a duo mode, so find a good partner. Participation in this event requires players to have reached Contender League in Arena play prior to the start of this event. Um, so Contender play is the middle one. Shouldn't be that hard to reach, I wouldn't assume, um, because there's Open League, and then Contender, and then Champion. They should at least make you have to be a champion. Like, come on. The prize pool will be distributed across all server regions. So there's like, what, five regions? There'll be like 20,000 for each region. Um, I personally think they should change that to based off the number of players in each region, instead of making it even between the regions. Um, the prize format, March 30th, round 1, all eligible players. March 31st, round 2, top 3,000 players from round 1. So make sure you get your points up. Performance, fix an issue or poor servants. Performance will cause undesired effects on clients such as unnecessary movement corrections. Added a fix for a rare server crash. Made a small server performance improvement related to the baller vehicle. I haven't had any performance issues. I have gotten a few crashes. I think that's more of a PC issue. Um, updated animation bugs to be more performant on higher scalability settings. I keep everything on low except view distance. Improved file IO performance on PS4. I don't have a PS4. Improved file IO while skydiving on all platforms by changing what data we prioritize loading first. Um, art and animation, they change the colors of the game. Um, destruction effects, audio, rescaled audio volume settings to avoid clipping artifacts. Whatever that means. What used to be 0.5 setting is now mapped to one. I don't know what they're talking about. I don't think I don't think my volume's in points, is it? I don't know. If your volume was pre oh, it probably is. If your volume was pre previously above 0.5, you'll need to adjust the volume on your television or whichever device you're playing on to achieve the same level of loudness. I use a headset. Um, so it's probably going to work the same. Footsteps from spectator players, teammates are now played at a reduced volume. Don't die. Fix an issue where some items didn't have proper audio and dropping from inventory. What they should fix is the footsteps. Because they're crap since they tried to fix them. Um, okay, for Battle Royale, I believe those are the most relevant changes. Um, so, I uh, hope this helps some of you guys. Leave a like, and I'll talk to you guys later.